the way that they're playing right now, Heroic. They just, every single member of the team is so capable of, of handling anything, really. So, it'll be a bit of a miracle, I feel like, if Sengal can make this work. Shush, he's really flashed, and they get the opening. That's how Inferno starts. It's down, goes down. Shush is still out here fighting, but he runs out of bullets, and Soulfly didn't need that many bullets to get the shot. Oh, and he's going to get what? one more onto Tessus. <laughs> that is beautiful. He might have just won the round for his team. Yeah, and there's already such a quick flank onto Kadian. Can't imagine that he expects this. Okay, he's been spotted, and he's wondering where the rotation is, so he has to spec Banana soon, but not soon enough. Fozy takes him down. Nearly as good anymore. That's that's a blessing in disguise for Heroic, because the yeah. rotation from Fozy is going to be so late. There's only two players here in the pit. Oh, you're right. They have a last Molotov on Katie, and can they throw it down in the pit to offset that defense? Then there might be Golden Fozy. He's going to be going down 10 seconds on the clock. They need to move right now. That double pit position is still dangerous, but they're actually going to ignore it. Heroic deciding, you know what? You can stay in the pit if you want to. We're going to plant the bomb, and you're in trouble. Molotov on top, and they wipe them out. That is... I mean, it's not a lot of time left. Not a lot could have gone wrong. We've seen in the last couple of days some more teams. Astralis did it as well. That try to do the early punish by rushing A, and it's almost like what Heroic are doing right now. The rotation back from B is kind of showing up. QB slowing it down by getting the kill on Kadian, which is a great start. That's what they need right here. And Corey edging in for another kill. He's going to take Tess's and Yabby, and still has a couple of more bullets. Eventually, Soulfly showing up, and now it's a one versus two, but... Great defense, good slowdown, especially QB on that first one, making all the difference in the world. And Stown is going to be on his own. I think he might realize where Fozzie's coming from. Now he definitely does. Very low on health here, but with an AK in his hand, it might not matter. Again, Stown mechanically so gifted. Pressure on the other side. He's looking for it. He just wants to see that helmet. Waiting patiently. There it is! Fozzy trying to crouch on in and Stown winning the one versus two with a triple kill at the end. That's great. That's such an underestimate him, but now it's, he's all in. He can't escape this any longer. Gun barrel showing. He's going to be pushing forward, executing Tessus. Ready for more. He misses the follow up, but still, that's a pretty great double kill. And Hero, they might not recognize the. Oh, Skrunk burns alive in the sight. Yeah. That was the ace in the hole for Sangal, but now there are smokes on every angle. And they're going to be putting the bomb down. Three versus three. A lot of grenades on the Sengal side. So you're going to be... You, you want to re try and retake this. You've got so much to work with. See if they have a really good one. Yep, there's the grenade coming through the ceiling. But it's Katie in to start off with. They're going to get him in return. QB actually on the double and just forced forward. He can't stay where he is. So he's going to get flanked and sandwiched in. Great. Not so much. Bomb is over on Banana. 40 seconds and oh no, he's going to get peaked. That's really awkward. Gun out instead and they're going to be running their way back. Skrunk now trying to get him in position. He's out in the open and two versus one. He's going to get blown up. I can't believe it. I don't even think there's anything special happening here for Heroic, but they just get into the bomb site. That's that's impossible to justify that, that movement by Fozy. I, I want to give him some benefit of the doubt, but it's just doubt. There's not... There's no <laughs> Looks like they want to wrap Arch at least with one or two players here on the check. Oh, nice drive-by shot. Shush out of the round, but Tess is going to be the return one. Kadian with the kill on Soulfly. And now they have this crossfire, but it's between an MP9 and a FAMAS. Not that much stopping power, and the smoke is going to be going up, and they just run down that SMG. No chance, and QB's back here. They could guess that someone's going to be around Fozy. They heard the orb earlier. They know that he's out here. One versus four for him. Absolutely no world in which they give it up. Stown will get the last one. Seven to eight. Five. They have no idea how to recover this one. Some jump shots coming out. Katie and he's picked up a Glock in the middle of it. He's probably having himself the time of his life right now. 15 seconds. This round is over and done with. There's no way to get out of this one. They're trying to fight it through, but there's just so much firepower waiting for them. And they're walking into the crossfire instantly. Katie with a couple of parting shots. That is a really, really horrific round for Singh. Expecting that they're going to be coming through, and he's not wrong about that either. Great kills. Doesn't have any more bullets, so Skrunk will finally take him down, but that's still pretty devastating. Now, at least they were the two low health players that got killed, and that's at least something to work with. QB's going to be taking down Shusho. Still a chance here. Jabby taking up a kill right away. QB's out of the round, and Jabby wanted to keep fighting. Maybe a little bit too early. There was a flank coming. There was a teammate in library. He could have probably waited that one out another five seconds, and it would have been even more beneficial. Stout, very early on the trigger. He just ran in there, and Fozy will win the one versus one. 
There are a couple of players there on the heroic side that probably jumped the gun way more than they needed. But they want to go quick at it here. So they're not going to slow down for the smoke. That was not going to make a big difference here. Some spray through and a nice connection. Tess's he'll clean it up on the other side by the coffins. Big double kill for him. And now they're going to be throwing down the Molotov just to buy some time and make sure they can't go for an immediate bomb plant. Five on three here for the retake. If it even happens, this nade could be devastating. They're right on top. They need to not be on top of each other right here. Here comes the nade around the corner and QB takes all of the damage. Tess's beautiful defense from him. Triple and no bomb plant allowed for. And if this is it, he's definitely dead. Oh, how wide? They're not peeking that wide. There we go. And the oh. flick does not connect. Well done. Sankal reading the situation perfectly. And there was some money on the heroic side, but still, you have to be careful about going for too much here. One way that Sangal can come back and win this map is if heroic run out of money. That's true. And this is becoming tough to figure out for Yabby. I don't see a great in, but no. on the other foot, they can just contain Sangal. That's Looks like they just want to box him in here. They even smoke the front of the site to trap them. This is this is well done. Yabby has a chance to farm it up now. He could get all three of these kills. Yeah, they're going to be panic running away. Remember the new bomb radius. They have to run so far away. No chance at all. This is great. So well played. Now, Yabby does go up. That's maybe the only slight hitch in that plan, but explosions at the feet of Fozzy trying to see if they can run someone down on Banana with the Tech Nines. And they're going to get absolutely denied. Kadian is out here swinging left and right. Molotov now down towards Corey. Going to be forcing him out into the hand. Well, even more death. Three people shooting at him. They're just getting everything. That is a really powerful way to win this map. Kadian on the triple. Skrunk alone now. One versus five with just a Galil. Heroic absolutely looked like the stronger team now. Sangal, what was the scoreline last time? 16-6 on this map? Ah, they almost doubled it. Yeah. So definitely much improved. They look super competitive, but Heroic are a really powerful team and you're beginning to see why. Yeah, I mean, Heroic, they're just so comprehensively strong across this map. The A site defenders, B side banana holds, they have such a variety of options they can always turn to when something's not going well. We saw multiple pace changes and there we go. The final headshot.